Hi everyone, and welcome back to Civilization 6 Gathering Storm. So, this time we are going to play as Mali. That was quite a popular suggestion, so we are going to do it. And as you probably already know, Mali is all about hoarding gold, and obviously also using it. Their mines get minus one production, but they also gain plus four gold. They can purchase commercial hub district buildings with faith, so getting decent faith will be pretty important. Their city centers gain plus on faith and plus on food for every adjacent desert and desert hill, so our cities will grow pretty quickly early on. And they also get a 30% production penalty towards constructing buildings or training units. So what I'm probably going to do is rush the contractor promotion for Reina, because that will allow us to purchase any districts with gold. That's going to be pretty important early on. So, this is mostly the same setup as previously, so the map is fractal, but I changed the temperature to hot, which should lead to more desert. Now, we want to settle our capital with as many adjacent desert tiles as possible, because for each adjacent desert tile, we'll get plus one food and plus one faith. So I'm thinking we should maybe move to this side. We got quite a few desert hills to the west, I like this. Alright, let's move like so. And I think we'll settle right here. To have more desert hills in range. As in, to have them closer to our actual city center. Incense will still be in range, so that's fine. We will move out of range of gypsum, but I'm not really worried about that. We'll get more cities for other luxuries. Right now it's about the best spot for our capital. So, I'm thinking right here. Okay, sounds good. Let's settle right here. Now, the start will be a little bit slow. I just find Mali to be one of the more boring gathering storm civilizations in the ancient era. He just needs some time to reach his full potential. Yeah, we'll need 10 turns just for the scout alone. Alright, well, I mean, we don't need a scout, so we'll get a scout. And let's grab mining. If we get lucky, we might get a builder from a goody hut. But I wouldn't really count on that happening. Also, I set all the AIs to random. So not just gathering storm AIs. We can have any AIs show up. Any sieves, that is. That's a lot of jungle. Well then. And here's our pantheon. So I think I'm going to grab Earth Goddess. It's easily one of the best pantheons, but AI usually picks it up early on. I rarely get a chance to play with it, so let's grab it. Here. Plus two era score. We also want as many golden ages as possible, because for each golden age, we'll get plus one trade route. So that would be quite nice. I'm not really counting on a golden age in the classical era, but we'll see. Probably not going to happen though. It's a little bit too RNG. Okay, foreign trade boost, nice. Because that's another continent. And now we can go back a little bit. I don't want to go too far from my capital. We when might be able to kill that barbarian once we finish Code of Laws. There's mining. Scout is almost done. And next up, let's get animal husbandry. And here's our first neighbor. Lautaro. Alright. He should be quite friendly. So... Hopefully we won't have to worry about early aggression. Because Mali is not very good at fighting back early aggression. At least compared to many other thieves. Alright, one more turn. To finish Code of Laws and get Discipline. And next up... I'm thinking Builder. I wouldn't exactly count on stealing a builder or getting one from a goody hut. And there's a barbarian. That makes up. That's actually really annoying. Yeah, now we might need a slinger, actually. So, discipline and urban planning. Yeah, we definitely need a slinger. So, let's get a slinger then. And the builder will have to wait. Why is the production queue not active? Here. There. So, Builder first, I mean Builder second. Slinger and then Builder. 
Unfortunately, the slinger will take 10 turns. And as much as I would like to kill that spearman, we need to go back to protect our capital. Because, yeah, we are about to get raided. I don't think... Oh, the barbarian camp is literally like five tiles away from our capital. This is going to be a problem. Well, we'll see. Here's China. Pretty good set of AIs so far. We might be able to get the archery boost and then get an archer. And the Mongols. Not such a good one, but alright. What kind of color is this? That's really ugly, holy crap. And he's a little bit too close for my taste. Just a little bit. He might actually be a problem. Fond of pigs. Yes, yes, I know, you're fond of pigs. Tell me something new. Oh, we already got archery boost. Right. Well, at least we don't have to worry about that. But let's get an archer or two. Because I have a feeling we'll need them. We got some horses, which is nice. How are the yields on that tile? Yeah, two hammers. That's what we needed. We need some more good tiles. I'm thinking it might be a good idea to buy that forest. Or the gypsum. What are the yields on this one? Oh yeah, let's buy the gypsum. The problem is that I'll have to buy two tiles to do that. Which I can't afford. Alright, let's just buy the forest. I need some hammers. And that will give us the hammers. For better production. Production can definitely be an issue as Mali. Because of the penalties you get. It's not just minus one production to mines, but also a 30% production penalty towards buildings and units. 30% is really harsh. And obviously you can't just buy things on turn 20. I think we can kill that spearman. There we go, nice. Plus three error score. And military tradition boost. Okay, we need two more error score. If we could get 24, we would get a Golden Age. It would be really nice to get a Golden Age for that plus one trade route this early on. But I don't know if that's going to happen. Here's another scout. Okay, I don't really want to fight him with my own scout. So no. And there's the Slinger. We'll get archery in five turns. I'll feel safer with an archer. Now we'll get a Builder, and then a Settler. We want to get our second city going as quickly as possible. Okay, I'm just going to block the way for the scout. Oh, we might be able to kill him after all. Here, yeah, might as well kill him. Why not? He won't bother us anymore. But now we should probably heal up. The There's Archer. And our Archer. Okay, I already feel safer. Archer is such a nice defense upgrade early on. Pretty much the best defensive unit you can get on turn 20. Now, we want to unlock our unique district as soon as possible. Which means we'll be going for pottery, writing and then currency. I'll try to get the boost for currency. We want a trade out early on anyway. And there's foreign trade. I will be keeping Discipline for now, and we should definitely keep Urban Planning, that's a no-brainer. Especially as Mali. And we can get started on craftsmanship. Our worker is almost done. How much gold do we need to buy Gypsum? 80 gold. Alright then. And in a few turns we'll get to the other desert. I mean, the other forest. It's actually a forested hill. Which means we can chop it. Or we could get a lumber mill. Because we only get minus one production penalty to mines. But mines also get plus four gold. Still, we can get a lumber mill. Then remove it later and chop the forest. And replace it with a mine later. But I'm thinking early on a lumber mill might actually be a little bit better. Because I won't be able to buy everything. We'll see. First, we'll improve the horses, obviously. 
And yeah, we should really get a settler first. And then a trader. Yeah, let's get a settler. I really don't like the Mongols being this close. That makes me a little bit uncomfortable. But alright. Here. Horseback riding boost. And that's a nice tile. That's almost half of our production from that one single tile. That's pretty funny. Alright. So then we can get a mine and improve incense. We just need irrigation for the incense. Yeah, I think that will be best. Oh, here's Lautaro. He's also pretty close. So, get the mine. That's plus four gold. So that's one production and four gold. And in four turns we'll get the forest. I'm still a little bit torn about that forest. Nah. And yeah. I'm not sure if I'm too happy about seeing her, but alright. I thought Clay must feel happy. There's pottery. This is an interesting set of AIs. Now I can't really chop that forest with this guy because we need one more improvement to get craftsmanship boost. And if I chop the forest, I will not be able to get that improvement with this builder. Can we buy the cattle to the north? We need 90 gold. We can do it! Alright, let's get the cattle then. That's not reasonable. We are almost surrounded with AIs. I'm not happy about that. Not at all. We'll probably end up with some wars early on. And I don't really want that because as Mali we really need to focus on getting our economy out, up. Mount, Mount Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. Not That's a pretty so nice wonder. Two weeks in Tanzania talking to the people on eruption it gives low yields and is most likely to damage improvements and buildings. Oh, okay. Infrequently erupts, but is always active. Well, I would still like to settle it. It provides plus two food to all adjacent tiles. And that's astrology boost. I mean, our second city is likely to be in this area anyway. It's just going to be the city with Liang for most of the game, I'm guessing. So, 90 gold. Let's buy that tile. And we'll improve the cattle. Here, that's plus on production. And we got craftsmanship boost. That's much better. We got a decent set of tiles to work. Okay then, four turns to finish the settler. Now, which exact tile do we want to settle on? Probably this one. Not a lot of desert in this area, but I still want to settle here. Oh, and there's a barbarian camp over there. I think we should go and take care of it. Most likely, yep. Yeah. I'm not fighting these guys. Although... Yeah, somebody is already attacking that spearman, which means we will not be killing him. It's probably Lautaro. Skill without imagination is There's craftsmanship. Do we want another builder? Right now? I think we want a few more units. That's what we want. Hold on, though. We will be finishing the settler. And then I think we should get a monument and a granary. We kind of need granary for the housing alone, because our city will be growing pretty rapidly. But I definitely want a monument. Okay, monument after the settler. Uh, whoops. Hold on, I think there was a setting here to leave it on by default. Yeah, use the queue by default. And that's what we're going to do. So Settler and then Monument. He's almost done, only two more turns. And the next up... Yeah, I'm actually thinking... Well, no, Early Empire. We'll get the boost soon enough. We only need one more population. Now, about that Barbarian camp. We definitely want to destroy it because it will give us more era score. We still got some time. 
I still don't think we'll get a Golden Age, but I might actually try. Oh, only 10 turns. Okay, never mind. We definitely won't be doing it. But, alright. We should still destroy it regardless, because we don't want it spawning raids. There's a promotion for your scout. Writing. And a good writing. So let's pick up Alpine. That's what I'm thinking. And kill that scout. We don't want him seeing our city. Now, where exactly do we want to settle? Yeah, I think right here. The game is suggesting we should settle right next to the volcano, but no. I think this spot will be best. If we settle here, we'll actually have wheat in range. And one floodplain. And we'll have every single tile surrounding the volcano in range. So I think this is the best tile right there. Okay, sounds good to me. Let's do that. And get rid of that barbarian camp. Major flood. That's for the Mongols. I still don't like the Mongols being this close, but alright. He doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot right now. We just need to get some extra defenses. Right now we basically have one warrior and one archer, which is not exactly impressive. And once we finish the monument, I think we need a trader. And then a builder. I need a trader out for the currency boost. And we need that for our unique district. So that definitely has to happen. Who's this again? Oh, Korea, right. Some of the new colors are just really weird. The Mongols are really throwing me off. That's a really weird color for the Mongols. Oh, hey, we can grab the camp right away. Nice. And attack the spearman? Yeah. If he attacks us, he will be attacking across the river. So, it's fine. Looking good so far. Almost 5 population. And now we can kill him. There, none. That gives us a promotion. So, this will be the city, right here. Well, hold on. Yeah, this should be the one. Because I want every tile surrounding the volcano in range. They will all get plus 2 food. Yep, right here. No desert in range. Which kind of sucks as Mali, but it's fine. Not every single city will be settling will have desert. That's just how it goes. Here. Plus 3 error score. If only I had a few extra turns, we could actually get that golden age. But alas. We only got 4 more turns. It will not be happening. Oh well, at least we won't get a dark age. Although dark age can sometimes be a good thing. If you want to try getting Heroic Age. That's not what we're doing though. Battle cry. And let's heal up that scout a bit. Well, let's move first. Now, where is the third city going to be? I don't think I want to forward settle the Mongols or anything like that. I'm thinking maybe in this area. There's some desert. We got copper. And also a barbarian camp. So, monument first. And once we get our second builder, we'll need some more military units. The Mongols like us because we don't have any mounted units. I don't think I'll be recruiting any, because I really don't want him to declare war on me this early on. Let's send a delegation. We can't get friendly just yet. But we can get friendly with Korea. So, how about we do that? Definitely a good idea to have some friends early on. We are not an early aggression Steve, I can tell you as much. Definitely not. There are far better ones. I mean, if you're really stubborn, you can go to war early on as Mali. You can do it with any Civ in the game. <laughs> it's just that some are better than others. So we still need that trade route, but it will be done in 4 turns. So just in time for currency. 
Okay, some tundra. So that means we're more to the south. Moderate flood. That's not ours. Now we can heal up. And you guys just chill. It's a decent start so far. Could have been better. And there's classical era. We were really close to Golden Age. It was luxury but oh well. like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. There's early empire. With air so, do we want to switch anything? We don't need discipline anymore. So let's get rid of that. Yeah, let's pick up a production bonus to units. Because we'll want a few extra units, that's for sure. I'm keeping urban planning. Although, switching to a builder bonus might be better, especially since we are about to start working on a builder. I think that makes more sense right now. And we could get two builders. Maybe we should keep discipline then, because I will be recruiting builders right now, not units. Let's keep discipline. And actually, we'll go get rid of that barbarian camp to the east. And take advantage of discipline. Hey, where are you going? Get out of here. There's nothing interesting to see here. Just move along. And we'll pick up the first dedication. We'll want a campus or two anyway. Probably around here. There are a few mountains to the west. Oh, and we got a governor title. So the general idea is to rush contractor. Because that will allow city she's stationed in to purchase districts with gold. And with our production penalties, we will definitely want that ability as soon as possible. So we are taking Reyna. And we'll leave her in our capital for now. Not to mention she will also help our income once we get tax collector. But contractor is the most important promotion we want for her. Anyway, next research should probably be military tradition to get the flanking bonuses. Alright, so the Barbarian Camp. That shouldn't be too hard. But we'll see about that. Where's that trader coming from? From here. That's quite a distant city. But hey, thanks for the trade out, China. Yeah, let's maybe... Yeah, let's hit the Spearman. He will probably attack the archer, but that's okay. Oh great, another scout, damn it. This is really annoying. I can't be everywhere all at once. Let's send the trade out to the Mongols. They are already friendly. Yeah, I don't like that scout. I definitely can't catch him anymore, that's not going to happen. Absolutely not. I expect a raid to show up over there. And yes, we should start selling our horses, definitely. I will not be needing horses. We can just sell all of them, to be honest. How much gold will he give us? Yeah, that's not too bad. 96 gold. Yeah, alright. Fine. I can definitely use the gold. I don't underrate the value. There's military tradition. I'm still finishing that builder. But I'm a little bit torn about discipline versus production bonus. We still only have one archer and one warrior. Let's not kill this guy just yet. We can kill him with our warrior. Let's send the archer back. Let's pick up the production bonus. We are going to need it. So we'll finish the builder and then get some more units for defense. Definitely at least one more warrior. We only have one single melee unit. So next up, state workforce. I might have to wait for a district. But I guess we'll see about that. We are about to finish currency. Which will give us access to our unique district. Now the unique district 
has some interesting addresses and bonuses. I'll have to think about the exact placement of that. Yeah, I don't know. First, I have to decide whether I'll be building the holy site at all. Because even if we don't get a religion, we can purchase commercial hub districts with faith. So it might be useful to build the holy site. It will also give us a plus two gold adjacency. But I'm not entirely convinced it's worth using a district slot for that. So kill this fella. How much do we need for a golden age? 42. That should be doable, I think. It really depends on how many turns we'll have. Because, yeah, the spread is pretty big here. And we won't know how many turns exactly we have until we get closer to that mark. We'll see, we should be able to get that golden age. I really want some of the extra trade rods from that. There's another plus one era score. Money. If it Okay, and now we finish the builder, and I think now we could chop the forest to speed up our unique district. That makes sense. Oh, actually, now it's not needed, only four turns. I have to think about this placement now. It might be best to just plant the districts. So, I'm actually going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. If you have any specific suggestions about district placement or about city placement, feel free to comment either below or on my Discord. I'm always active there. So, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.